So the argument for God, yes? So in life, if I've noticed there are two different types of people. Well, there are two different options to live in life. Is your life happening to you? Or is your life happening for you, right? Is it happening to you? And now with this, I have no preference. I mean, I do have a preference, but I make no judgment on whatever you choose to how you per choose to perceive your life. I have a, 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 you know, a choice that I'm doing, and I may, you know, try to, you know, I may offer um, pros and cons of what I choose. Again, this is just my opinion. Take it for what you will. Take what you like and leave what you, with you, what you don't, as I always say. And as this is appropriate for any of these videos from anybody, is you take what you like and you leave what you don't. You have choice. Anyway, so is your life happening to you or is it happening for you? Is it happening to you? Are you alone in your environment? Are you surviving against the elements? Is it happening to you? Is it luck-based? Are you lucky on certain days to be in the right place at the right time? You know, are you are you uh, battling against, resisting, or, or trying to figure out how to unite with the environment, your life, your circumstances? Is it you against them? Valid. Or is it life happening for you? Are you in a game? Is it happening for you? So your life, your circumstances, situations that come up, are they happening for you to learn? Are they orchestrated? Are they preconceived for your betterment, for your detriment? I don't think it's detriment. I don't think life is happening for us to get worse, to suffer. That doesn't make any sense. It wouldn't be like that. Life is happening to us t for us to grow and to evolve and to sharpen and to evolve. I like life happening for us. I think there is a higher power. There is a more benevolent, more all-seeing force that is watching me, that is looking out for me, that is looking out for us. Growing us, maturing us, refining us, maybe like a parental figure that wants us to get better, wants us to mature, wants us to grow up. Life is happening for us so we can become better. That way, there's no me against the environment. There's no, I'm not alone. My environment, my life is here to teach me, is here for me. I'm connected with everything because everything is wanting me to be better and to contribute back to my environment. Is that not a better way to live? That takes off a lot of struggle and stress and loneliness. If we choose life happening for us then versus life happening to us. You know, that, that implies a higher power. Implies God. Implies a benevolent, all-knowing source that is growing us. Yes, you know, we get trials and tribulations. Yes, we get challenges. Yes, of course, challenges. In the short sight of things, challenges look like misfortunes and bad luck, don't they? See, bad luck is just short-sightedness. See, if life is happening for us, then bad luck and misfortune is just a test, is just a challenge, is a, just a hurdle to try to figure out, to, per, to persevere through. Misfortune and bad luck when life is happening to us 
is just a milestone to achieve, a test at the end of a class. So all of misfortune really is, if we look for it, the silver lining of any type of setback or misfortune is for the better. Loss, losing something that you loved, come to find out you are learning more by losing it. You, you learn detachment. You learn how to be, you know, easygoing. You learn to not covet. You learn to not depend on something. When you lose something, you learn that you didn't really need it in the first place, necessarily. You learn that to cherish it when it was here. When you lose it, you appreciate things more. There's so much broader picture learning from misfortune. If misfortune is only emotionally scarring when you are short-sighted, when you see the trees and not the forest. So life is happening for us and showing us that misfortune is just temporary. Misfortune leads to greater self-independence. Gratitude and compassion and grace and learning how to Go with the flow because when something is taken from us, more often than not, something new and better comes in to replace it. Right? <laughs> That's a big one. So when life's happening to us, it's very short-sighted. We're just an animal in an environment against the rain and the nature and we need to survive and who knows we have nothing beyond this lifestyle we have nothing it's just when we die we I don't know turn to dust nothing is special when life is happening to us everything is just doggy dog and rugged and heartless and Oh my God, that's what happens and life's a tough place and suck it up and just survive and don't take responsibility for anything because everything comes and goes and, you know, nothing is special. Nothing is sacred. See, when a life is happening for us, everything becomes beautiful. Everything is meant for our, our growth and our betterment. God, a higher power, is on our side. The rainstorm comes. It just beats down the roof and the floods may come. But that is just for us. That is just God teaching us something. See, in the midst of a calamity, you learn resilience. You learn perseverance. You learn how to muster up your faculties and muster up your training and your skills and your self-knowing and you survive and you look back and you're like wow i kept myself together amidst that calamity and now i'm better because of it it's not just life happening to us oh my god another effing fucking storm we just barely survived who knows when the next storm will come? I hate these storms. They're so challenging. I lose stuff. Life's a bitter pill. Uh. <laughs> no, life's happening to us. Life is teaching us how to be resilient. So when the next storm comes, you're cool. You're like, I under the first storm. I can do this now, the second storm. This storm is weak sauce because I've done it before. And man, I can take on a lot of challenges. If I can endure a storm, I can endure insignificant little challenge like getting up on stage and becoming vulnerable as an actor or whatever it is. Something that we're all scared of, insignificant. Going up to that person I have a crush on and 
saying my open heart of desire and appreciation for that person. That's so scary right now in our little environment, our little society. See, when you master a storm and you weather a tornado and you can push through anything, you can do little insignificant things. Off on a tangent. Life happening for us is way better. No, it's way better psychologically. There's so much boon, there's so much value, there's so much beauty, there's so much perseverance, there's so much more satisfaction with life. When you see life is happening for you to grow, rather than to you. To you is fear-based, everybody against me. You know, the, the bad weather, the bad season, like everything's against me. Tough it out. No. It's very myopic. It's very forests from the trees. The big picture is life happening for us. You become more valuable as a human being when you live your life as refinement. Your life is refining you. Your life is making you better, making you pure, making you more loving, more resilient, more pleasant, more effective, more efficient. Life is grooming you to be better. Life is not beating you down. Life is not something that you just gotta effing survive through and see another day and just hardship after hardship after hardship see life happening to you is just mercy you're just asking when is this gonna stop mercy give me mercy no when life's happening for you it's a test you're like aha another test i can i can conquer another opportunity to see myself as strong to groom myself to be better My two cents on the argument for God, the argument for a higher power is the argument for life happening to you. Someone has, your God has you in his hands. Like a father or a mother would want his or her child to be stronger and grow. See, people without a higher power are alone. There's no cause, there's no connection. You choose. You know my opinion. Thanks for listening. Till next time.